Welcome, my name is Paula. Uh, if you're new, welcome. Um, I like to do uh, recipes uh, and just video them and it's just kind of a hobby I like to share. Um, you can follow me on Pinterest, um, I'm on Facebook, I'm on uh, Riddick, I'm on um, a couple of different, different places, uh, Instagram. I don't post too much on Instagram, um, I'm still learning how to do it. <laughs> um, so I hope you all are enjoying the videos, um, and if you have any suggestions or anything, I'd love to hear back from everybody. Um, today I am going to make a stew um, with uh, beef tips. So I've already started, it's going to be in the crock pot today. So I'll show you my version of it. Just remember please, um, it's just about... Uh, making it your own if you're not wanting the, that type of ingredient in your recipe, just change it. Uh, make it to your own taste. All right, so I'm gonna begin. Okay, so here we have the stew meat or the chopped beef tips. And, um, and, I, and I didn't saute them or anything, I just stuck them straight in to the crock pot. We're going to be using French onion soup. I have two cans. I'm going to use half a bag of my carrots. And I'm just using baby um, yellow Dutch potatoes. And I'm going to use an onion. You can omit it if you don't want it. And then my seasonings is going to be ranch and two packages of gravy. And then I'm going to be adding some water. And I'll probably add about four cups of um, I'm going to be trying to get to at least a little over half of um, liquids inside the um, crock pot because I'm wanting it more to be a stew today. Hey everyone, um, today we're going to be doing a peach and chicken dish and as you can see I have peaches and I'm not using fresh today because um, it's not the season, it's the winter. So I am going to use frozen peaches, preserves. I have I peach preserves and I have some balsamic vinegar and that's about a fourth of a cup. I have some basil, it's about two teaspoons. Um, I have a three course, uh, three I have um, a third cup of uh, chicken broth and I have some honey and I'm going to use about two tablespoons of that. And then um, I'm going to use about three chicken breasts, you can do thighs, you can do uh, all kinds like, um, if you do thighs, do about four to six thighs. Um, and then uh, for the chicken breasts, I did three, they're large, or you can do a, a couple more, but no more than four or five. And, uh, and I'm going to make them about 400 for about 35, 40 minutes. And uh, should be good. All right, I'm going to begin. All right, so um, first I'm going to start with my chicken broth in my big little cup here. And I'm going to add my ingredients in it. And this is the fourth cup of um, peach preserve. And you can do this in the crock pot as well. I'm 
I'm just gonna stir it in there. Then I'm gonna add my balsamic vinegar. And then we're gonna add two tablespoons of honey. Now remember, make it your own. Doesn't necessarily have to be this way. And I'm just going to mix this up. It's very simple. And you can add salt, garlic, possibly maybe even a little bit of ginger if you wanted to kind of spice it up a little bit. And then we're going to pour it over the chicken. Then I'm going to take the peaches and I'm just going to put it over it. And I'm going to add another cup. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt. about 35 45 minutes and it's done. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so um, today I was just going to do like a quick little side, little dessert with our dinner tonight. And uh, I wanted to add something easy, so I'm just going to make a parfait. Everybody's had a parfait before, nothing new. So I just got some vanilla yogurt, and I'm going to use some blueberries. And for my topping, I'm going to use the vanilla almond uh, cereal for the top. You can use granola, and you can change your fruit or whatever flavor yogurt you want, but this is the way I'm going to do it. All right, and we're gonna begin. So I've got two bowls, just for my husband and myself. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add um, the blueberries first. And you can make however much you want. So the, being that I'm using frozen blueberries, you can use fresh. Uh, I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit um, in room temperature wise, so that the uh, blueberries will thaw out. Okay. I'll just cover the bottom. And then I am going to take the yogurt and I have just vanilla. And I'm just going to cover the blueberries. Just like that. I'm going to move that over. And then we're going to do 
Jason. use granola, you can use whatever you want. Looks good. I'm going to eat it now. <laughs> Alright. Okay. And that's simple. It's a quick dessert and a snack if you want it to be. I've even had it for breakfast before. It's really good. Alright. See you in a little bit.